Hello everybody, so Kyle Thero here, walking back to another video of American Truck Simulator. And this one we are going to be uh, picking up again here from where we left off in the last video. Go straight on and then keep right. I think we're turning right here. Or no, I think we're turning right at the next one here. Oh yeah, this is where we, I think this is actually where we keep dropped off right. in the last one. Yeah, it is actually. Okay. Um. Here We're going to we be safe and pretty much picking up where we uh, dropped off from the last video, from what I can tell anyways. And it looks like we are picking up right next to where we dropped off. Uh, we dropped off uh, on the other side of that fence there. We're going to be picking up some used uh, packaging materials today. I didn't want to do this one just because it's kind of boring, but I couldn't find anything else that was going to Alliance. So I ended up, uh, whoops, 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 whoops. Let's see here. Trying to not get too crazy with it here. This truck will get away from you really fast if you're not, uh, if you're not careful with it here. Especially with this ludicrous mode on it. Okay. Yeah, it definitely got away from me there. Obviously, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, going to be taking out the uh, Tesla again here. I do love this truck, although I think I still have, as I mentioned earlier, I think I still have ludicrous uh, settings still turned on with it from the last time I drove it. So any little feather of the gas, it will just get away from you with the quickness here like this. You see, I'm about to jackknife into it here. I'm, like, I'm not even pressing the gas there. And yep, I definitely hit those uh, trash cans. And I'm still hitting them. Trying to get away from them here. Oh, and we killed our truck. <laughs> this is going good so far. Let's go ahead and try to do this. Let's try to straighten out the trailer. I'm going to kind of do a U-turn here. This thing has a great turning radius, so I should be able to just do a U-turn into here. I should be is the key word there. Oh, slow it down. Slow it down. Natural reaction is to hit the brakes when the brakes is what keeps you going. And as you hear those, that air from the parking brakes going crazy as I'm trying to back into here to make this pickup. Okay. Nice and slow now. All right, I just tapped it. I'm not giving it any kind of gas whatsoever. Just gonna tap the pedal again. All right, I gotta get out and take a look here. Oh yeah, totally not right. <laughs> Oops. Let's release the parking brake. I'm gonna have a hard time with the pickup, let alone dropping off. That's probably gonna be a nightmare too. Let's use our mirrors. They seem to uh, be a little bit better for me. Let's see, come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn off the engine. We're gonna set the brake. Get out. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good for me. Let me go ahead and get loaded here. Ooh, this might be a night run. Well, actually, that wasn't too bad on the loading time there. Let's go ahead and get the parking brake Ready set or removed. What does it look like? Oh, no, there we go. I don't know what that red light is over there on the uh, left tablet. Maybe it's damage. How bad is the damage on this thing? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. I'm not sure what that's all about. Finding a new rerouting. Yeah, I know. I kind of jumped the curve and I went out my own way. Turn right. But it is what it is. Uh, this is a uh, external contract as well. Uh, cargo market one, basically, since I have my own trailer there. Go straight on. Oh man, I forgot how much the steering wheel wants to just drive itself when you uh, when you're driving this thing. It really wants to just go where it feels like going. Oh, that's pretty cool with all the flags. That's pretty neat. I couldn't see what it was. I'm going a little too fast for it here. But uh, since it's one of those, we will be capped at 65, but it's 
It's rather funny. The game cannot keep up with this truck speed. So, like, on. if I put... I'll show you guys here if um traffic starts to... Well, we got some road work, so maybe not. Let's see if uh it's clear enough here to where... Nope, I can't. Okay, we got to wait for a light here. It's pretty funny. Like, the game doesn't anticipate a truck moving as fast as this one does. So, even though you're limited to 65, it'll jump over to, like, 68, 69 from... Uh, the momentum and speed of the game trying to catch up and go oh you're actually driving a fast vehicle so we need to cap you but it take a second to recognize it in fact just for the sake of showing you guys if it's safe here i might do it oh it is a passing lane okay nope there's a tesla speaking of teslas but yeah see i jumped up to 66 there and then back down to 65 but look at that response time <laughs> it's just instant and go I really do love this truck. I'm glad uh, my buddy Zach made this mod and uh, <laughs> brought it over to uh, or updated it so it would work uh, with more current versions of American Truck Simulator. Go straight on. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, speaking of this truck, if you want to get this truck, it is uh, available for purchase and it's actually pretty reasonably priced. And I, I'll try to remember to put a link to the uh, page for it down below. But if it's not here on my other ATS video with the Tesla truck, um, there will be a link there. Um, Zach also has a promo code. If you type in the uh, promo code Thero, so basically SoCal Thero, if you type it in, T-H-E-R-O, uh, you get 50% off. And I think it knocks it down to like 5 bucks or 10 bucks. Now. Well worth the price if you ask me for the mod. And um, I did talk to him recently and he was talking about uh, making some additions to some of his other trucks that he has for sale over there too on his website. But he's also um, asked me what I, what do I think uh, about uh, additions wise for this Tesla because they're not out yet. So it's kind of hard to say anything. But my suggestion was more of interior stuff, just like the little like little like water bottles and the cup holders over there on. kind of stuff oh this is gonna be a hairy turn up here we might need to lay off the cruise control and uh slow down here but yeah still um checking out nebraska here again this is my uh third run for the uh community event so we are just leaving um where we dropped off last time. In fact, we had the same yard. That was pretty cool. I didn't realize that Get was going to be a thing. Right. And we're heading over to Alliance, which is on the uh, west side of Nebraska here, basically, of the state. Turn right. All right, let's make sure it's safe. Yep, it's looking safe here. Whoa, truck is getting away from me, and I'm in the uh, oncoming lanes. <laughs> Probably heard my steering wheel trying to take over too there. Go straight on. Ooh, we are racing through this town. What's the speed? Oh, it's 35 and I'm over here doing 60. Now it's down to 50 or it's up to 50 and there's 65. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely if you have ludicrous mode on which is what i'm assuming i have i forgot to uh downgrade it to the uh slower version of the truck cruise control is your friend and so is uh external contracts because they limit the truck from going way too fast to the point to where you're gonna end up losing control of it it's funny and it's fun to have but man is it hard to control <laughs> you gotta really be on it yeah, look, let's see here. Uh, there we go. So it says we should get in at about 6:12 p.m. About 81 miles. So it's 4:37 right now. So we got a little over an hour to go here. Well, more like yeah, hour and a half. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna be checking out more Nebraska here. Hasn't been much to see, to be honest. Like, I, I love what I'm seeing, though. That's why I don't want to sound like, oh, they didn't do much. They did a lot. There's not a lot out here. There's a lot of fields. There's a lot of 
um, crop growing fields as well, farms, uh, silos, farming equipment. There looks like a little church over there on the left. That's pretty cool. Been a lot of little small towns that you run through that don't pop up and say like city discovered or anything like that. That's really cool to see. I um I like seeing that because it means they're getting included in the game even though they're not a uh, hey we got cows. We got cows on our left there. A cow pasture over there just grazing, eating some grass it looks like. But yeah, it's pretty nice because it means that little small towns are getting uh, some recognition in the game too that otherwise wouldn't because they're not a big city, air quotes, uh, type of population to be driving through or near. Man, this steering wheel, I'm really fighting the, you guys won't see this, but I'm really fighting this truck right now with the steering for some reason. And it's got to be that, that ludicrous mode. Oh, we're getting into a town here again. Whoa. Engine brake was really effective there. That was almost like putting on brakes. Oh, we'll just kind of cruise here nice and slow. Don't need to take it through this town. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like you get that small town field he feel here. Like you got a truck with the camper on it. Just passing through some small businesses like mom and pop places. I, I just saw a sign that said we're 48 miles from Alliance already, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna be uh, gonna be there before we know it. Oh yeah, we popped up to 68 miles per hour, so truck was starting to get away from the game again until it could cap it. And of course, I don't know if I said anything earlier, but obviously driving for uh, Northern Alex's uh, trucking company there, Northern Logistics, trying to uh, show you guys while at the same time not drive off the road here. So decided to represent in the uh, trailer I had from way back when, when I first joined. Um, very fortunate the uh, livery still works for it. So I was able to uh, throw it on a trailer and be able to use it and represent uh, his company a little bit on my video today. Seem to be making some pretty good timing here. I'm a... Uh, I'm seeing the drop off already on my radar there on my uh, my radar on my navigation. Yeah, it's actually right off this road. From what I can tell. Oh, wait, maybe not. I feel like we're getting pretty close though. The time says on my other tablet, it's 543 and we were supposed to get in at about 612. So yeah, we're making some pretty good time right now. It's probably going to be another one of the shorter videos, which it is what it is. Like I said in the previous one, the first video I did this week was like 40 minutes. So not exactly a, a short one by any means. And some people don't have 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour to commit to a video. And I understand like strap in. We're going to watch a movie instead of a video. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be going left, right here and then turn left. There we go. We've undiscovered Alliance now. That Turn gives us left. another delivery spot. Oh, nice. We're going to be it's doing an Izzy delivery today. Let's pull in right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, pulled up too far. There you go. Set the parking brake. We'll kill the engine and let's go ahead and have them come out and unload us and that was fast so we drove 194 miles it took us 17 minutes to do it we consumed 85.1 gallons of fuel which is not true we consumed no fuel because we're driving an ev truck <laughs> uh, we earned five thousand three hundred and eighty dollars and we had 343 xp from it too um, I'm going to take a look here and see if I have another shorter job that I can take from here. So, so far we've discovered Valentine. Well, we've uh, made a delivery to Valentine and we made a delivery to North Pilati. I'm guessing is how that's pronounced. And now we made a delivery into Alliance here. Is there anywhere nearby? There's Omaha. That's not exactly down the road though. I don't want to go that far out. 
Uh, Grand Island. It's not right down the road either. I was kind of... Okay, what is this too? Oh, that's too short. Scott's Bluff, that's too short too. That's 61 miles. This is 211 and doesn't... And it's in Wyoming. It's not in here. So, next best thing is Grand Island, which... Yeah, that's going to be kind of long, and I don't want to make this too long of a video. So, unfortunately, guys, that's going to be it for this video of American Truck Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, again, in the next one, I'll be taking out probably another vehicle, too. And, um, in fact, you know what? Let's take a look real quick. Is there a truck dealer near where I'm at? Or a repair? Oh, there is a repair place. Just for the sake of argument, or yeah, for the sake of argument okay. here, let's kind of go. go ahead and release our parking brake. Wow, truck's getting away from us. Let's see if I did have ludicrous mode on. And then uh, we can kind of kind of go from there and uh, detune this thing in a way so I'm not Turn having right. such a hard and time driving it. We're going to run this stop sign in front of that car. Sorry, but we are in a Tesla, so we're going to be flying through that intersection. A little bit of a bad trucker going on here. It's, it's geez, I'm doing 77 already. All right, so this it's going to be. Ends. This is where it ends. Cool. All right, so let's pull in here. Brakes, thank you. Uh, truck configurator. Let's take a look and see. Oh, uh, so yeah, he is planning on making some updates possibly to, uh, add some like mods, like things you can do to this thing. Like I said to him, I made the suggestion of doing the interior. Cause right now it's just, you can just have the only the one steering wheel. I thought maybe some variety would be cool and like some cups and maybe some like a storage bag, like the accessory stuff you can do here. Let's take a look. Yep. That makes sense. I had ludicrous mode still on from the last time I drove this thing. So, um, if, you've, if you don't have this mod, there's two engine types. There's the 2000 or 2170 cells. And this one's a thousand horsepower, which is ridiculous too. And then there's ludicrous mode, which is 10,000 horsepower, which is what I had just now. And, uh, the truck kept trying to get away from me. So I'm actually going to switch and I'm going to get a refund here of uh 20 grand. So that should help out with my cost so far for the week. No, well, maybe not. Still says I'm at negative 50,000. So that's interesting. Eh, it is what it is. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And until next time, take care.